Since the birth of film and video, professionals have recorded high quality audio to a device separate from the camera. And this is why people began to slate their shots. The video and audio are then synced together in post-production through a typically annoying and monotonous process. Well, that's all changed thanks to Pluralize, which does all that annoying and monotonous work for you automatically and also much faster than you ever could manually. It also removes the need for slates or timecode in order to sync your footage in post-production. But in this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of Pluralize and show you a better way to sync audio to your camera or even cameras in a multi-cam workflow. New in Pluralize is this sleek and simple interface that helps you get in and get out. Now, check this out. This is a folder of footage from this big filmmaking training project that I'm making. I had several behind the scenes cameras on me while I was making a short film. I had, you know, there's two GH2s, Canon 7D. I also had a lav mic on me recording the whole time while I was, you know, directing the actors and whatnot. Then I also have here the high quality production audio from the film and also the red footage from the film as well. Now this folder right here is over an hour of footage. Well, it's actually 80 minutes I'm showing you here, but when I use Pluralize to sync this for reals, it was dozens of hours of footage from even more cameras. I mean, can you imagine trying to sync this all manually? I mean, this is why more kids don't grow up to be editors. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know, maybe. But here in Pluralize, all I have to do is drag and drop my many folders of footage here and then click the synchronize button and I'm just going to talk over this in real time because I want you to see how quickly Pluralize can actually take and synchronize 80 minutes of data from all these cameras. And there it is. Now, you'll notice that one of my GH2 ACAM clips is red. Red means that those clips failed to sync. In this case, that clip is from a different day of shooting. So Pluralize can detect that it doesn't sync with any of the audio and doesn't sync it. So I know that right there that it's red. It doesn't belong. Now, even if you get a situation like this, for example, where the media is not organized at all, Pluralize can automatically detect that there were several cameras and still sync your media accordingly. Note that media that's organized into subfolders is a better way to work with Pluralize generally. Or even actually if you're not working with Pluralize, I mean, come on, organize your stuff, right? <laughs> but this is especially true with transcoded media or media from identical devices. Now you'll notice I have a bunch of different types of media here, even 4K raw red files, and Pluralize just syncs it all. You know, it's very forward thinking, the way it's open and accepting of so many different file types. There's a life lesson there, people. <laughs> now, once your media is synced, you can double check the sync. You come up to the upper left corner of the interface here, click the little monitor icon, that opens up the video player. Choose a video clip to preview. Let's say I'll select one from the GH2A cam track. Now, by default, it previews the camera video with the accompanying camera audio. But what I want here is to preview the camera video with the high quality audio from the audio recorder. So I'll change this drop down to audio recorder one. Geez, that's pretty tiny. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to the right hand side and drag the slider upwards to increase the size of the waveform. Now that doesn't do anything else other than increase the size of the waveform. You can also use the bracket keys as keyboard shortcuts if you want. The right bracket key increases the size of the waveform. The left bracket decreases the size. So we've increased the size of the waveform, but what about the volume? For that, I can actually come over here to the left side of the screen, mute the tracks of camera audio just by clicking the little speaker icon, and then I can increase the volume of the audio recorder track using the volume slider. Now note that this is only a temporary adjustment and it won't be exported or actually change your media at all. It's just for previews. Now, if you're familiar with previous versions of Pluralize, you're probably wondering where all those crazy options are. You know, try real hard, level audio, sync drift correction, all that stuff. Well, they've been integrated behind the scenes. Say for example, I have these clips that sync for a bit and then drift out of sync. Now, this is usually because of little differences in the devices used to record the audio. But what do you do if you're trying to sync this manually and you get these sync issues over time? I mean, you're stuck. But watch this. When I just do a regular old sync and pluralize, click the synchronize button, I don't have to do anything. It automatically detects sync drift and applies drift correction for me. Now, just to show you how tricky of a problem this is, I'm going to click here to remove drift correction. And now this is just a regular old sync. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on each clip and press on the right bracket key so I get a bigger waveform. Again, this just doesn't change the volume, but it allows me to see that waveform more clearly so I can compare these two tracks. Now if I zoom into the center of these tracks, these waveforms appear to line up. I mean, the sync is fine. Who needs drift correction, right? Even if I click on the left side of the track here, the bottom little line, and, and expand these tracks so I get a bigger waveform to make it easier to compare these two tracks, they still look totally aligned. But when I use the backslash key to, to zoom all the way out so we can see everything, and I go to the beginning of these clips and then zoom back in, we can see that things aren't quite lined up right. And I could tell by turning back on drift correction, now they work, now they're synced up, Turn it off, and now they're not. Now look at this peak over here. That's really obvious how far off they are. I mean, they're quite a bit out of sync. But I put on drift correction, they line up perfectly. Off, on. Off, on. Pluralize is looking through all of your footage, making sure that your entire clip is synced all the way through the clip. Now it's also worth noting that Pluralize is the only software on the planet that can detect and correct this issue. Now, let's use an old school wipe to get back to where we were. And we're back. Now, how can you get this synced footage from Pluralize back out to your editing system? Well, there's actually a number of ways to do that. You can export an XML file for Premiere, Final Cut Pro 10, or Vegas. Or you could also export video clips with synced audio. So you can use Pluralize with really any editing system. Also note that Pluralize will not modify your original files when you're exporting video, which is great. Now there's also some great new integration with Offload and also with Adobe Premiere in Pluralize 4. So be sure to check out redgiant.com slash tutorials for more tutorials about other host apps and workflows. On behalf of Red Giant, I'm Chad Perkins. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Take care.